anyways, uh, this is the beginning of the uh, Saturday and Sunday uh, weekend vlog. Uh, where uh, we vlog two days in two 24 hour days as one single day because that's kind of the way things go here. Is that uh, there are days, not just simply on the weekends, the, the vlog of the weekend shows you one example of this. But it occurs also during the midweek where uh, uh, enough is going on that uh, the time just kind of uh, melts together and you have uh, uh, two days turning into one day you know, in terms of uh, what's going on. And that's kind of the situation that happened Friday. So that's why we're beginning the vlog on Saturday, night, Saturday the 19th at 7 o'clock in the evening. The sun has more or less already gone down. Uh, I don't know if we're too much of the sun in my eyes or in the camera. It's more or less already gone down. Uh, I started the camera early because I uh, didn't know what the situation was going to be in terms of uh, being able to stop and start the vlog. And this is the beginning of the vlog. So <laughs> this is the opening clip. And so that you have to wait for the lights and everything. It's, it's, same thing as following all of the rules of traffic, but uh, you're on the skirt and you're out in the open. Accelerator is acting a little funny today. Don't know exactly why, but it is. I'm more comfortable today than I was on Thursday. It seems like every day I drive, every time I ride this, I get better and better in terms of being, my, in terms of the comfort level. So that's, I suppose, a good thing. Oh, dead squirrel. Now it's where it's a little difficult in terms of figuring out what to say when we're on the uh, on the vlog or in this clip because uh, sometimes it's just nice to have the ride. The ride itself is nice. I'm updating my uh, YouTube vlog, adding more channels. I found some new uh, uh, RV camping channels that are family channels that are very nice. And most of the guys there, even some of the girls, are into this uh, speed thing, where uh, they like going fast. Uh, I'm more of it in for the ride, the journey, and so going fast doesn't uh, uh, necessarily excite me. I think that's what it is. I think the brakes are a little touchy, and if the brakes are on even just a little bit, uh, they can impede the, uh, uh, the uh, speed of the, of, of the scooter. And that's why I think it is, is that, that sometimes if you're tense, I have to have three fingers on the uh, brake at all times, but if my, if my hands tense up, I can end up squeezing the brake without necessarily realizing and leaving that little tiny squeeze. Uh, we shouldn't really do anything but us. Then the brakes kick in. But I think the bike, the whole bike itself, controls are all uh, it's called fly-by-wire. It means they're all electric. And it seems to me that that the that the that riding the scooter like this. Uh, the shocks are breaking in and I don't feel the bumps as much as I did before. If I went over a, a, a sewer cover a, a, few minutes, uh, a few seconds ago and I didn't feel anything. So, and the thing is, they're probably going to end up vlogging on the way back tonight because uh, the uh, vlog Thursday night, the clip Thursday night's clip, uh, worked very well. It, it, it was a nice bit of scenery. So I now have a way to vlog that's different from my place. Uh, <laughs> so it's vlog as you go. 
try to avoid the manhole cover to not blow them as much as I can, you know. I'm still keeping my eyes on the road. I'm not looking at the speedometer or anything like that. Should have gone to the right rather than to the left. But anyway, it's those mistakes. Smell the restaurants and smell the cooking. I just stopped here for food, but not on the way to my parents' house. Stoplight. I'm getting better at the braking. Now let's see if we can get better at the uh, takeoff. Getting somewhat better. Again, it's this. Uh, it's the. Uh, it's the accelerator. The accelerator is a little touchy, so you end up taking off faster than you expect to, but you don't have the balance yet. Uh, and getting that balance right is uh, a key factor. Here comes another bus. This guy's going faster than the last one uh, uh, on Thursday night. So, but anyways, he gave me a full lane to go around, and I'm happy with that. Uh, wasn't as unnerved as I was on uh, Thursday. You, you never know how you how, to, how you're going to experience something, so that anticipation uh, often uh, <laughs> dampens the moods and brings in some degree of anxiety. This is a nice street to come down uh, because it's nice. Their backyards and their large yards. This is the way it was earlier on. A lot of them were Italian. Now most of them are Asian. Uh, but it's nicely lined with trees, so it's a nice ride. And of course, I can't turn you off until I stop properly. Of course, you're not going to know that because uh, I'm going to edit that part out. <laughs> well, that's of course, it's a nice ride. I changed my jacket. I'm wearing my winter jacket now. Because it's too cold to ride out without the jacket. So, winter's here. It went down to just about 34 degrees uh, Fahrenheit last night. So, in Toronto, we're skipping through fall and going right to winter. Uh, okay, first for me, a local truck. Thought it was another bus. And this is Finch. If I were going to, I'd take a right, I'd take a right turn here and go to McDonald's, but I'm not going to. There's the brakes again. One of the pains and pangs of uh, fall back to school is the weather does get colder, and it is actually much colder. It's, uh, it's only 43, it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, it's only 43 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is cold. Uh, I went outside, I threw out some garbage, and this is the beginning of the vlog for uh, September 22nd, Tuesday. But what happens is is that the cold is really nice to sleep. It really makes you sleepy. And I feel sorry for kids who have to go to school. Oh, you have to have a schedule. You have to get up early in the morning. 
Uh, why don't kids want to get, or why don't people actually, because I know there are adults who don't want to get up early in the morning, like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. And it's because when it's cold, you want to be you want to be sleeping. It's basically uh, a hibernation response. And so you go outside, it's cold, it's it wakes you up, and you go back to your place, and it's nice and warm and toasty, and you don't want to leave. You want to go back to bed. <laughs> it's kind of the situation here is that... Uh, uh, even though my, well, part of it is because my sleep is cut short on a regular basis, uh, so I'm not getting the full sleep, I'm not getting the full rest that I should be getting, uh, that uh, my body just wants to be back in bed again and seems to be calling out for, the body seems to have this sort of intuition and senses, hey, get back to bed, you're, you're going to go back to sleep. This is particularly when your body is, uh, a lot of times after weightlifting um, or doing any physical exercise for, and you haven't done that physical exercise for a long time, the body lets you know it's displeasure, even though it's getting better, uh, <laughs> by the amount of pain that you have, the soreness. Uh, and my soreness seems to have turned out, particularly in the right leg, that because uh, so, the way you stop with the... Uh, Scooter is part of it. Is you use your you use your feet, uh, particularly when you get slow enough that uh, uh, the balance on the scooter is is rather uh, precarious. You end up using your feet to do, to do the balance load. Uh, if you land on it the wrong way, and apparently I did, and you you kind of roll the ankle, and that's what's happened. Is I've, I realize that the, the pain is more than just the soreness of, that of, of exercise that I have also rolled the ankle on one of the stops. Uh, I'm still learning how to get the... Uh, I'm still adjusting to the brakes of the bike. And... So, it, it uh, my, my landings, my stoppings are very... Are, are not what they should be in terms of... Uh, you know, in terms of the... You know, the... the, the I guess you call the... The... the, the, the um, proper functioning of the bike in terms of uh, your operate the operation of the bike uh, you as the operator are less than sufficient uh, but yet you're still going anyway but the thing is if you don't do it you don't you're not going to learn so <laughs> and you just keep the slower speeds you stay in the right lane and you know you don't try to be doing anything that's you know heroic because you're still learning Excuse me. I had a bit of I had a glass of milk and some uh, the the rice crackers. They're, they they can be used as a breakfast. And uh, I'm gonna be going back to bed soon, very soon. Well, as soon as I finish this, opening up the vlog. It is a, you 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 learn as you go along. This that's kind of how things end up working out. And I said. Things start back up in September, uh, and we're into the uh, the second or third week of September. And my my um, I'm increasing my meditation. The meditation is an important part of your life uh, when you're a practitioner of the path. Uh, and this is because the, the meditation brings in a added benefits. There's there's actually a learning process when you do the meditation. So uh, you don't again you don't start off amazing. You start off bit by bit and slowly. As the months and years go by, you increase your what we call the practice, and these are your the, the, the practice and the meditation are the spiritual exercises to uh, improve the quality of the soul, the ability of the soul, the uh, the radiance of the soul, because it's it's part of your what they call the aura. Well, when people say, "Oh, you, you have an aura," well, they're talking about the they're talking about the soul. That's that's the evidence of the soul. Where before, in, in classical mechanics, you would say, you know, in classical physics, you'd say, ah, oh, it's all, you know, bunkum. And this is where a lot of your debunkers will come from, on the classical side. Uh, when you get into quantum mechanics, and this is the whole thing that Planck had done, is it no, not so fast. Uh, we don't know everything that is there going on in the, in the universe. And now we find out that uh, our actual knowledge of the universe <coughs> is rather pitiful. It, it it maxes out at five percent because what ninety five percent of the universe is 
dark matter, dark matter, and dark energy, and we have no idea what that is. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. And just like that, uh, another day slips away. It's 5.45 a.m. On Wednesday, September 23rd, and we are now ending the vlog for... <clears throat> for Tuesday, September 22nd. It's, is it... The days, not only in some manner, disappear. You think you're doing, you know, some aspects of the day you feel slow and cumbersome, but the rest of the day and into the night seems pretty quick. It's it's, it's a um, it goes by and almost a blur. Is it? Did that day just pass? And people wonder why. How does ten years uh, pass you by? Where did your childhood go? And so on and so forth, and they look back and remember, you're 35 years old, and they say, well, or even older, say, well, where did my childhood go? Well, you were out having fun, sort of. <laughs> it's interesting when you, and this is, this is what happens to me when uh, I'm just out getting up the game again. I finished my YouTube stroll around 2 o'clock in the morning. Went to knock off a little bit. Uh, and came back just about now for like 6 a.m. 6 a.m. is actually the time I need to be here. But I've got a few minutes before that before that occurs. So, uh, why not end the vlog? Because I'm here anyways. Uh, and when you're parched, what do you think is the best thing to do? For me, the best thing, the only thing that I want when I'm really thirsty is, is ice water. <sighs> Which means I have to make more ice. I've actually gone through almost an entire bag, a large Ziploc bag of ice. Uh, so I have to do uh, tomorrow. I'll have to sit there for. Uh, uh, it, it make the, the ice maker works at uh, 48, 48 cubes every hour and a half. So I'll have to make three or four bags. So it will be it will be uh, much of the day I'll, I'll spend making ice. I just put it in, go off and do something, come back, empty it out, fill it up again, and repeat it a, a couple more times. That's the process of making ice. It's, it's cheap. It cost me $5 to do that in terms of uh, the overall cost of everything. Uh, my ice maker. It's just an ice cube tray that holds up 48 cubes that, that produces, you know, uh, 48 cubes at a time. And this, this is the tray I showed you before. It's the green one that came in I'm using right now. Uh, and... It's a it's a nice thing. I I, I do enjoy my ice water. It's, it's, it does uh, satisfy the thirst. It wakes me up. Uh, it clears away uh, enough of the mental fog that uh, one begins to realize that a large chunk of the mental fog when you wake up. In many cases, this is due to dehydration. That the, the the body, the brain doesn't have enough water. Uh, to continue functioning at the way it usually the way it usually does, so yay for that and and I'll explain more about my YouTube stroll probably uh, later on in the day. I'll come back and do another uh, when we, we start to vlog in about a half hour, forty five minutes. I'll uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit more about the YouTube stroll because uh, I've adjusted it and I'm, I'm working on uh, getting the graphics for the new channels I've added. Uh, oh, I've also spoken to one of the YouTubers on uh, our family nest, uh, but sort of in contact with Candy. Uh, every vlogger at some point, some point in time, has a question. Well, what am I doing wrong? In other words, you don't. Ha you see another channel, 
another family channel. They're doing very, very well. You were doing very well, but now you're not doing as well as you did before. And that's because in many cases situations change. So the question is, when the situations do change and you're stuck in this particular position, uh, it's not that what you're doing is necessarily wrong. Maybe there needs to be an adjustment. You need to sort of re think or reconfigure how you're doing things to adjust to the new realities. And the thing is, it, 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 in many cases, it is the discussion that, that may well, okay, if someone's going off and getting a job and your family that uh, and not vlogging, maybe the incentive would be more along the lines of, of like a profit sharing type of thing. If you're making enough money to buy a house uh, and you're doing well enough in there, let's look at the people who are in the vlog and ask the question, well, do you want to make more money and give an option as they vlog, if they vlog, uh, to give them more money, you know, based on the amount of time that they spend vlogging. And, you know, and then adding to your channel, adding to your brand. Uh, because it, the, the, YouTube is actually a T, it, it, you need to treat it like a TV station. You're a channel. And yes, okay, you have the one content there, but you don't, have to have, you don't only have to have that one content. You can work on other things. That's part of your job is to, to you know, to create the content there. But uh, it's always a, a difficult thing that's hit and miss all the time. You don't know what people are going to like or what they're not going to like. And so you got to sort of stick in there and, and try different things out. Glentis is finding this out. Uh, and now it's uh, Can Easter in our family nest. Uh, the Ridges, I don't know what they're necessarily doing. Um... Uh, they're, they've gone from posting on a daily basis to uh, posting almost every other day. Uh, so, 